Hello there. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of this method of controlling your character. So half of the screen is going to be used for moving the character around and half of the screen will be used to rotate the camera. And this is actually super simple to do if you are not doing it inside the blueprint. OK, let's get started. If you go into the edit project settings and then go to input inside the input go ahead and uh, find the default touch interface in here you have the default uh, virtual joystick just double click on it and you have two indexes so um, let me just opacity one and then point two this is the default value um, so there are some variables that I changed and I'd recommend you using the exact numbers. So for the visual size, I used 300, 300 for the index zero and for the index one, the exact same thing, visual size, 300, 300. And then going to the interaction size uh, for the index zero in the X value, 700 and for the Y value, 850. In index one, though, this is the exact same thing, 700, 850. And then what you will get is if you play the game. Oh, by the way, you have to, if you want to um, try the, the method inside the editor, you have to go into the mobile previewer ES 3.1 PIA. You can't use the editor, the viewport itself to try this method. That's not, that's just not possible. You either have to go inside the previous ES 3.1 or you have to package the game and run it on your own mobile device or probably launch the game. But anyway, um, do you, always just good practice to make sure that you are previewing the scene inside the Unreal uh, Android previewer okay so now that I have it this is what you'll get okay with the exact numbers this is what you'll get but you don't want this to be seen by the play player right so what you can do is go to the default virtual joystick and in the active opacity make sure this is zero in the inactive opacity make sure this is zero as well So now we are not seeing it, but they are there. So you can just go ahead and um, use them. Use this part with your left thumb and use this part with your right thumb. And it's as simple as that. It was a very short tutorial. I just don't want to make everything complicated. This is a really simple thing to do. You don't really need to create a lot of big complicated blueprints i mean if you want to add different functionalities to it like swiping or, or different buttons um you yeah, sometimes you definitely have to go through the hard way which is creating everything from scratching blueprints but in this case you don't need to if you want something simple here you, here you go um and this was it uh if you hit that like button then it would be great have a great day bye